Yeah, here back again with an unboxing video for the DJI Phantom 2 Vision Plus. Now, if you've watched my videos, you know that I crashed my first DJI Phantom 2 Vision Plus. So I decided to uh, to sell it on eBay as is, potentially broken all the way, and I purchased a new Phantom 2 Vision Plus. And I just wanted to uh, take the opportunity to unbox it just to show again what all is in here. One thing I would recommend if you buy a Phantom 2 Vision Plus is to save the box. That way if you ever need to ship it, maybe you need to ship it in for repair, uh, maybe you decide to sell it, uh, maybe a new Phantom, uh, Phantom drone has come out and you want to, uh, you want to upgrade, it's just a good idea to take good care of this box because that adds to the uh, from my experience, it really adds to the the ease of resale. So when I'm opening this, I was, I'm being very careful with my K-Bar knife and trying not to damage this box right here in any way when I open it. There we go. Perfect, no damage to the box. So the first thing you're gonna find when you come into this is this little thing right here, this piece of paper. And that's important. You can see that it hasn't been uh, it hasn't been cut. That lets me know that it's new. You can either open it this way by pulling up on this or you can use the knife method. And that's just more fun in my opinion. So now I've busted the seal. It's the first time this has been opened by a customer. Beautiful Phantom 2 Vision Plus. You can see it's got uh, it's got these little propeller things on the propellers to let you know that it hasn't been used. Take all of those off. And that's something I keep too. I'm just going to throw them back in the box. So should I ever sell this or send it for repair? Got everything that came with it. Got this little sticker right here. Save it. Obviously you've got your, and this is a mistake a lot of people will make if they've just purchased a Phantom 2 Vision Plus. You do not want to throw that away, and you do not want to throw that away. Because when, you're, when your Phantom's in transport, whether you're using the uh, waterproof and ruggedized case like I use, and you can find that within this video's description as well as well as the link to order this uh, DJI Phantom 2 Vision Plus. But when you're transporting it, you want to keep those on, and then that way it better protects your camera from uh, potential damage during transport. So we've got the Phantom in here. We've got the remote control. And it has this handy little guide attached to it, by the way. I would, I would recommend saving that just for future reference. Put it in the box. Then you've got the uh, the paper around the remote. Take it off gently and save it. Obviously your remote with your Wi-Fi range extender it says fully charged before use. Take that off. And actually, instead of using this uh, this style mount for an iPhone, what I'm going to use, and you can check the link within this video's description. I'm actually rigging up a uh, a seven-inch tablet, which, in my opinion, is a little bit better. You've got a pack of four AA batteries. I'm not going to use these. I use rechargeables, so I'll just repurpose these for a TV remote. You've got a box here. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, but the battery is already in here. So you got one battery with it. Now, there are other kits that you can get 
where you can get uh, there's one you can order that'll come with uh, with an extra battery which is nice again check the link within this video's description um, so we got two boxes of stuff here got your accessories so obviously this will be like your uh, your extra well let's get into it here So that's that little baggie of stuff. You got a prop wrench. And you can check out my video, How to Remove a Propeller. That's the proper way to do it so you don't damage your motors. And it's got those extra spongy things that go in the gimbal should they fall off. And some other miscellaneous repair kits. Keep this with your, uh, with your Phantom 2 Vision Plus at all times. Then in here we have the owner's manual and owner's manual and you got some pink stickers and some blue stickers I guess if you want to customize the appearance of your of your DJI uh, I think the red for me is fine so I'm just gonna leave it as is you got a whole bunch of manuals in there I'm just gonna put this back up like I said I like to keep all this stuff well organized should I upgrade or should I sell you got your charger this is your wall charger. Now you can purchase a car charger, uh, which I highly recommend if you do a lot of filming in the uh, in the field and need to recharge, or maybe you're a boater like I am and you want to recharge the uh, the Phantom battery on your boat. But what's nice about this, you get all of these international type plugs, as you can see here. And you get the charger. And then you get two types of power cables. You get the one that's an international. You get your USB cable for syncing, which is nice. And then your US style power plug that goes into the into the power brick right here. So that's the one I'll use. And I'll just keep all these extras. Keep all those extras in there should I um, should, should I need those. So we've gone through that. Let's see what else we have here. Put this back in its thing here. We've got one more box and that's the propellers. What I like about DJI is that they included two sets of propellers. So inevitably you're probably gonna break one prop or Maybe all your props, who knows? So you got a, you got two sets out of the box, which is nice. So that's that's everything that you get uh, with the DJI Phantom 2 Vision Plus. It's very nice packaging. It almost reminds me of something that uh, that Apple may sell. You know how Apple they do their uh, they they do their they make their boxes and everything look all fancy. But I'm just gonna put my stuff that I may not need back in here. And then that way I've got it should I should I sell or upgrade. I've got all the goodies right out of the box. So I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video. I know the unboxing video doesn't do this thing justice. You really don't get to uh, you really don't get to enjoy the Phantom until you until you fly it the first time. But before doing that, something I highly encourage everyone to do is thoroughly read the manual ensure that all of your firmware is up to date so that's the software on the phone as well as the uh, is the firmware on the Phantom 2 itself and the camera firmware and then also the controller firmware make sure everything's updated before you attempt to fly the first time and obviously make sure you know how to fly how to react uh, should it lose signal be sure that you know how to calibrate the compass be sure that you know how to uh, how to abort return home if needed and switch to manual control mode thoroughly educate yourself before you attempt to fly the first time and obviously be in a be in an open field without power lines and trees and water and that sort of stuff because one one mistake 
during the first time flying could be a uh, could spell disaster. But with that said, this is an awesome this is an awesome tool, and a lot of people may feel this a toy as well. But the video you can capture with this is absolutely amazing. Like I said, this is my second DJI Phantom 2 Vision Plus because I crashed my first one and I sold it as is. But I liked it so much, as soon as I crashed it, I went ahead and ordered a backup. So check out my hundreds of videos already, and I've got hundreds of more videos coming soon. And be sure to subscribe. YouTube.com forward slash IRIXGAF. Thanks for watching, and y'all have a good day. And you can check the link within this video's description to where you can order this online, as well as find more videos and photos. See you later.